Hello everyone. My name is Visa Ketram. I am from final year ECE, NIT Andhra Pradesh. Today we are going to discuss about segmentation using watershed algorithm. Segmentation can be done based on three major aspects. Detection of discontinuities. That means edges, points and lines. Thresholding, region processing. Each of the above have both advantages and disadvantages. Segmentation by watersheds embodies many of the concepts of other approaches and often produces more stable results including continuous segmentation boundaries. This approach also provides a simple framework for incorporating knowledge based constraints in the segmentation process. This is based on visualizing an image in 3D. Normally it is done by spatial coordinates x and y versus grayscale usually denoted by f or g. We can write it as f of x comma y or g of x comma y. Watershed segmentation is a region based method. A watershed is a transformation defined on a grayscale. The watershed transformation treats the image it operates upon like a topographic map with the brightness of each point representing its height and finds the lines that run along the top of ridges. The watershed transform finds catchment basis, basins and watershed ridge lines in an image by treating it as a surface where light pixels are high and dark pixels are low. Let us see the algorithm used. The algorithm used is as follows. Read in the color image and convert it to grayscale. Use the gradient magnitude as a segmentation function. Mark the foreground objects. Compute background markers. Compute the watershed transform of the segmentation function. Visualize the result. Let m1, m2 and so on m r be the sets denoting the coordinates of the points in the regional minima of an image represented as g of x comma y. Here initially the image will be a gradient image. Let C of Mi be generally a set that denotes the coordinates of the points in the catchment basin associated with regional minimum presented as Mi. C n of n is used to denote the union of C n minus 1 of M1 and C n minus 2 of M2, which can be clearly seen in the image present here. See the basic steps involved in this process. Piercing holes in each regional minimum of 1. The 3D topography flooded from below gradually. When the rising water in distinct catchment basins is about to merge, a dam is built to prevent merging dam boundaries corresponding to the watershed lines extracted by segmentation algorithm to be watershed segmentation algorithm. In the figure there we can see A part is original image, B part is topographic view, C and D are two stages of flooding. Topography will be flooded in integer flood increments from n equal to minimum plus 1 to n equal to maximum plus 1. At any step of n, the flooding process, the algorithm needs to know the number of points below the flood depth. Let Cn of m denote the set of coordinates of points in the catchment basin associated with minimum m that are flooded at stage n. Cn of mi may be used as a binary image given by Cn of mi equal to C of mi intersection t of n that is cn of mi equal to 1 at location x comma y if x comma y in cm of i and x comma y belongs to t of n otherwise cn of mi is equal to 0 the c of max plus 1 is the union of all catchments basins that implies c of max plus 1 equal to union of i equal to 1 to r c of mi follows c of n minus 1 is a subset of c of n. The algorithm for finding the watershed lines is initialized with c of minimum plus 1 equal to t of minimum plus 1. The algorithm then proceeds recursively assuming at a step n that c n of minus 1 has been constructed. A procedure for obtaining c of n from c of n minus 1 is as follows. Let q be a variable that denotes the set of connected components in t of n. Then for each connected component small q belongs to q of n there are three possibilities. The first possibility is q intersection c of n minus 1 is empty. The second possibility is q intersection c n minus 1 contains one connected component of c of n minus 1 and the third one q intersection c of n minus 1 contains more than one connected component of c of n minus 1. Construction of c of n from c of n minus 1 depends on which of these three 
current condition holds here in this image the a part is the image of blobs and this b part is image gradient c part is watershed lines which are appeared to define the boundaries and d are the watershed lines superimposed on an original image here we use this algorithm is very efficiently by using only values of n that correspond to existing gray level values in g of x comma y we can determine these values as the values of minimum and maximum of the histogram g of x comma y let us illustrate an example of the watershed segmentation algorithm consider the image and its gradient in figure a and b respectively application of watershed algorithm just described will be yielding us the output in c if we superimpose on the original image then we will be obtained with d as noted at the beginning the segmentation boundaries have important property of being connected paths which we can see in image d